two Canadian teams do. On the ice, this being the top Canada, Canadian team. Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford. And they are the leaders after the short program. And the two-time Canadian champions finished fifth at Worlds last year. And they've made no secret that they believe they have what it takes to be on the podium this year. And a win here would be their very first ISU championship title. Their short program score was, was their highest of the season, so their scores certainly heading in the right direction. Music from the motion picture Angel and this choreographed by Julie Marcotte. Triple twist, precise takeoff. You can see Megan pop up into the air. Super clean element. And now, part of their secret weapons, the triple Lutz. The only team in the world to do this difficult element. And he came down on two feet. She had beautiful height on hers. Rotation of the jump being the most important thing. As long as the judges feel three revolutions happen, they will not take a major deduction. Look at the unison on these side-by-side -side spins. Right on. straight into an element and out. Very clever. Little bit of a sloppy jumping pass. better than two points uh, lead after the short program over Kirsten and Dylan. It was only two points that separated them at the Canadian Championships.
come there a little tiny bit. A bit of a trouble getting out of that last lift, but a nice Lutz. And a little late on the ending. Not exactly what the plan called for, but again, a great fight. Maybe not the best that we have seen them skate this season, but they have been on a roll. They, they've skated so well this year, and uh, certainly they didn't let the Canadian fans down here with, with that performance, both in the short, the highest program score they've had so far this season, and now with this free here. Well, and the other thing, if you look on the world scene, when some of the pair teams, even the top, start making mistakes, they're major. These smaller errors for the Canadian team. Up next, more Towers of Moscovich on Sports Weekend. Our natural formulas have nutrition that's proof. Well, here's a look at Megan DeHamel and Eric Radford after their free skate, and they have said, Kurt and Tracy, they know they have to skate close to perfect if they want to be on the podium at Worlds. That, that wasn't quite the skate they wanted. No, at the World Championships, I think they'd be feeling it even more they, than they will in the environment that they're in right now. Uh, obviously, you could hear them breathing hard, so hard, they probably couldn't even talk at the end. And some programs just don't flow one to the next, and that was today. It's so true, and you get into those programs, it's work from beginning to end and physically exhausting. You can be in best of shape, and at other times, Kurt, you can't put a foot wrong, and it feels so easy. This was, this was effort for them today, but again, their mistakes were relatively small, and we, as I said, have been watching some of the best teams in the world. When they come undone, they truly come undone. A beautiful death spiral there at the end. Um, but, you know, the training really gets you through when you, you have these little mistakes. It stops them from being big ones. And Megan is really hard on herself, and she demands the mess, best of herself. So, like you said, Tracy, you it didn't fall apart by any means. It's okay, girl. Oh. <laughs> they need a score of 100 points to move into first. Uh, they have that and much, much, much more. And uh, in fact, that's the highest international free skate score and total score for this team this season. And Megan says she was not expecting that score indicative of how hard she is on herself and now we'll have to sit back and watch uh, my math not so good they actually have a four-point lead over Kirsten and Dylan after the short program not insurmountable for Kirsten and Dylan so we wait she may have said sorry guys that's okay don't worry <laughs>